God bless you. God bless you all as always. Welcome to another daily devotion. Sister Peggy is my name from the First Church of the Open Bible. Today I want to discuss what I was discussing previously, and that is the waiting process. What shall we do during those times of waiting? Ah boy, waiting on the promises, waiting on the fulfillment of God's plan and purpose for our lives, waiting on the thing that we have been dreaming about and waiting for for such a long time. I want to encourage us to trust the process. Trust in the sovereignty of God. God is time specific and all things will come to pass as long as we are partnering with God in his timing, his perfect timing. I want to take us back to the, um, you know, the process of constructing a home or even reconstructing a home. When we are saved, the Lord never leaves us the way we are. He is reconstructing our lives. During that reconstruction process, which I've been involved in many times, right? There is so much rubble. There are so many things to be torn down, so many things to be built up, rooms that were once hidden all of a sudden they are exposed for the whole neighborhood to see, and it is a difficult one. And it's also a picture of our lives. When God is reconstructing our lives, he's reconstructing our lives because he's building a habitation for himself, a place to dwell in. In 2 Corinthians 6 and 16, it says, For you are the temple of the living God, says the Lord. I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. God is reconstructing our lives. And sometimes that's a real messy process. Sometimes he has to expand us. And in that expansion, that building of new rooms, and uh, uh, you know, he's building. One time a minister said to me, God is reconstructing uh, cupboards to hold the gifts, the abilities that he has released upon my life. And God is doing the same for you. He's reconstructing you, building you bigger, building you greater, hallelujah, filling your life now. He builds you in order to fill you, to fill you with a capacity that you've never known before. I want us to trust the process. Also in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Ah. That's, 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 that's the wisdom of God right there. That's the power of God. He is in charge. He is sovereign and trust the process. It is happening in all the difficulty, the failures, the good things, the bad things, they are all working together. Hallelujah. In Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9, it says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. We have to believe. We have to trust in the sovereignty of the Lord and believe that even during this waiting process, God's plan is being unveiled. We need this process for where God is taking us. Take the example of Joseph. Joseph is sold into slavery, and it takes many, many years before he becomes the ruler, a ruler. Take the life of Joseph, for example. Joseph is sold into slavery, and it takes many years before he becomes the prime minister. But during the process, he's learning how to lead. From a slave, he's learning how to manage money, manage the affairs of a man's house, manage the prison. God is using these very negative circumstances to train Joseph for where he's going. Even the bad things are working together for our good. Trust the process. Trust in the sovereignty of the Lord. God has us in the palm of his hand, and his sovereignty will is being unfolded during the waiting process. God bless you.